only runs four energies. This is crazy. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, let's sing around. You are definitely going down. Be revenge. What's the amount unknown? Clefki, what else can we count? Best be Quen, I see your M. Slappy DCE and you are sent to the discard pile. Oh, please say your well. It's still my turn, but you see my smile. Acro biking is my style. This deck is so versatile. We are hitting real hard. Got some backup with four or one. Or maybe right you. Well, look at you. We knock something up and get prizes. Yep, even get two. Well, you only get one. Ha, ain't that fun? Just quit it. You are done all along. People should have mentioned this with the birds and the bees. Because these combinations will definitely bring you to your knees. Just think about it, yo. Well, agree. Oh yeah, that's it. Another rap. Yeah, stay tuned, guys. This will be all about Vespiquen. What's up, YouTube? It's Zadosh TCG here, and welcome to episode 108. This time around, if you may have noticed, it's about Vespiquen. So, what makes Vespiquen such a great deck? Well, it's not a GX, it's not an EX, uh, but it's still doing a ton of damage thanks to its attack, B Revenge, dealing 20 damage plus 10 more for each Pokemon in your discard pile. So, the main strategy is using Acrobike, Sycamore, Ultra Ball, and other shenanigans like that to get all the Pokemon in the discard. We have a Gnome, which is really great because it has the ability, uh, once it's on your bench, you can discard it and draw a card so that is also really great for our draw support uh, we have Oranguru in this deck as well uh, it's not needed in this deck but I put one in there just to uh, show you guys how versatile the deck is it runs on DCE only for DCE you might think wow that's uh, not many energies but we do uh, run these special charts we run two copies of that uh, making sure it's not priced and uh, yeah once we get aggressive like that we can just get them back with special charts those uh, special energies for the stadium cards yeah you can either run uh, force of giant plans or some other shenanigans faded town is great to uh, disrupt uh, actually get damage on mega pokemon so that is great because Vespiquen doesn't uh, always deal that high amount of damage in the early game so that's why there's also a Tauros GX in there the, the GX move a uh, Mad Bull GX is overpowered why not abuse the power of Tauros GX absorbing a bunch of damage and just uh, getting a knockout thanks to Lysander knocking out everything in your path so uh, for uh, alternate attackers I think Running two two lines of uh, Pokemon is really great. Uh, I think Zoroark is a great option because uh, once you have a float zone on your Zoroark, you can use the dive in ability and just uh, get yourself on the active position with Zoroark and then switch turn around. It, it's actually great that uh, that way nothing can can get stuck, which is awesome. Uh, also, his attack uh, for a DCE, um, uh, I think it's called Mind Jack, deals ten damage plus thirty more for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, which can deal up to a ton of damage and actually uh, two hits uh, almost everything, which is awesome. So Zoroark. That Definitely something to check out. Also, the darkness type is not bad at all. Uh, you are weak against Pesamian though, but yeah, uh, we have the Vespiquen and other shenanigans to use that. So uh, we also run uh, the Raichu in this uh, deck because Raichu with uh, Circle, uh, uh, yeah, Circuit, this actually deals uh, 20 damage times uh, the amount of your bench Pokemon. So it can deal 100 damage quite easily uh, because you can actually bench your uh, your entire uh, <laughs> yeah arsenal with a couple of cards. You can get the Oranguru on there, some Combi, maybe Tauros, and the Zoroark. And then boom, this Raichu deals uh, yeah 100 damage. And if you think about it, uh, that uh, super effective damage is great against Evil Tall EX. Uh, as mentioned, the Unknown discards itself, and you can have draw support thanks to that. The Oranguru makes sure that uh, if we are end, we can definitely get cards. We also discard a lot of cards with Ultra Ball and Acro Bike. So if you're on a low hand size, that ability can uh, actually do a bunch of stuff. And also his uh, attack isn't that bad either. So we also run Klefki. This is an interesting Pokemon uh, because uh, once you put it on your bench, you can actually use the ability and attach it to one of your Pokemon. That way, uh, next turn your opponent uh cannot even damage Pokemon with this. Actually, the Mega Pokemon cannot damage your Pokemon that the Klefki is attached to, which is awesome. So if you're facing Mega Pokemon, Klefki can be your ideal stall card while you two-shot most of their Pokemon. And uh, yeah, after that you have to discard it, which is uh, not a bad thing. We need a bunch of Pokemon in the discard. And then of course, two Shaman EX. I know, I know, Shaman EX is uh, yeah one of those cards that is uh, practically in every deck. It's in this deck as well because the draw support is needed. We want to uh, uh, go as fast as possible. Acro Biking, Shaman, Ultra Ball, getting a ton of uh, Pokemon in the discard and then using the B Revenge, hopefully on turn three and then bang, out of nowhere we deal a bunch of damage. And in the late game, this deck gets even better, so that's why 
why this is a separate video and this episode uh, is all about Vesper Quinn. I'm also gonna make a couple of uh, changes to this deck. Uh, this is just uh, my version of the deck. You can change it up uh, however you like. Uh, there's also only one trainer's mill in this deck. I do uh, think with the speed of the deck with Acro Bike and a bunch of shenanigans with Shame and Ultra Ball, this deck uh, uh, do doesn't need more trainer mill because that way you always deck out and that's not uh, something you want. Uh, I only run three uh, VS Seekers because uh, just think about it. If uh, you're facing an item lock, then uh, the VS Seekers are all useless cards. That's also the reason I'm running three in instead of just the regular two. And uh, yeah, for Light Center, just two. And uh, the most interesting card, I think, is the Bursting Balloon. It actually is really great. Uh, you just slap it onto your Pokemon and if they attack you, they receive uh, yeah six damage counters on them, which is a adding up to the total uh, when you're de dealing uh, a bunch of damage. And that way you can uh, get some knockouts out of nowhere, which is great. Your opponent has to decide uh, whether he or she attacks, which is great. Uh, also, for recovery cards, we run Revitalizer and Super Rod. Uh, the thing uh, about Super Rod is we're running a bunch of Pokemon here. With the Super Rod, we can get back uh, a Gnome and then have even more draw support. So that's why Super Rod is in the deck. Uh, you can also just run two Revitalizer or only one, depending on your playstyle. And there's uh, two Floatstone in this deck. If we get a Floatstone on the Zoroark, we're fine. So this is the main deck and we're just gonna switch it up a bit because I made a couple of uh, changes here. You can also, in this picture, as you can see, we run the Garbodor and uh, we got rid of the Orange. Guru. The thing about this is that uh, the uh, uh, the Garbodor is really great to disrupt your opponent, definitely against Volcanian decks. When their abilities are shut down, this is really great because Vespicun will uh, will survive turn after turn uh, thanks to the ability lock. So uh, yeah, the Garbodor is in here. Uh, also, I changed up the Oranguru with Lugia because Lugia doesn't have an ability and we don't want our abilities to be shut off. So uh, the thing is, you definitely want to get Garbodor out, but only after you used uh, a couple of uh, gnomes and attached uh, a couple of Klefki. So there's that. Also, uh, in this uh, version of the deck, we see Zip Strike as a Strike as a really great Pokemon. It has the ability that I can, uh, yeah, uh, uh, not be affected by attacks. Uh, these, uh, as, actually, I'm gonna state it like this. All the Lightning Pokemon are not affected by any uh, effects on the Pokemon when you attack, so they uh, attack straight to uh, a bunch of stuff. And uh, with the DCE, again, we run Pokemon with DCE. If you have other Pokemon with DCE, maybe an expanded Splash in a side Toad, I don't care. Uh, if it has DCE, it can work with Vespiquen, so there's that. It deals 50 damage, and uh, if the opponent's uh, active Pokemon has resistance to fighting, then you deal 70 damage extra which actually adds up to uh, 120 damage and uh, with the super effectiveness uh, on the uh, most Pokemon with the fighting resistance think about Lugia think about Evil Tall we destroy them in one shot so that's why Zip Striker is really good uh, and uh, another thing about uh, this deck you can uh, add in uh, Pessimian Pessimian is one of those cards that has uh, been made a deck of its own and they still haven't made it on the channel though but Pessimian is a budget deck but you can definitely put four Pessimian into the Vesp Vespiquin deck to have your extra support and extra damage uh, that way we just bench a couple of Vespiquen. Zoroark is in there for a free retreat uh, kind of shenanigans. And uh, the thing you should know is that uh, the, um, this Pessimian deals a bunch of damage depending on how many Pessimian are on your bench. If we don't need Pessimian, uh, just discard them anyway. But uh, Pessimian is great to uh, rush through the Dark Ride decks because Dark Ride decks uh, tend to give us a bit of uh, problems here and there. So. Yeah, another thing uh, you should know is uh, you could also run three uh, Forest of Giant plants instead of just uh, the copy I run uh, because uh, with that you can get your uh, Vespiquins out much faster, uh, which is something actually awesome because once the Vespiquin gets knocked out and you don't have a combi as your backup, that way you're kind of stuck. Uh, in this situation, I should uh, think about preferring the uh, Taurus Jax to the active position, but if you want another Vespiquin attack uh, when, when it's needed, so uh, that way you can uh, run three Forest of Giant plants. so uh, there's that. Another thing you should know is that uh, if you don't have Shaman, don't worry, don't worry guys, uh, you don't always need Shaman. You can also run Octillery, in this situation uh, Octillery can also be uh, your uh, card to get. If you don't get it out, just discard it. Uh, the more Pokemon are, that are in your discard pile, the better. So this is one of the few decks that run a bunch of Pokemon, actually a ton of Pokemon, uh, not all uh, decks use that many Pokemon, but this is needed for the strategy of B Revenge. And then lastly, uh, the Evolutions. Uh, as you see, this is not a complete deck, deck list in this picture. I, uh, there's two slots remaining, so depending on your playstyle, you can actually add a, definitely add in another Eevee, and then uh, you can choose between Vaporeon uh, or Jolteon, uh, depending on uh, which uh, decks that are causing you the most trouble. I think uh, running Vaporeon is uh, actually a must. I don't have it, so that's why it's not in this picture, but Vaporeon makes it so uh, your, all your Pokemon, uh, your active Pokemon, all your stage ones actually, uh, so uh, Mage Zoroark, uh, Vespiquen, even a Raichu if you 
you managed to put it in there. So uh, if you run the evolutions, all your stage ones become the type of the evolution you get out, which means if you get out Flareon, your Vespi Queen is part fire now. If you get out Jolteon, your Vespi Queen is part lightning now. If you get out Vaporeon, your Vespi Queen is part water now. So this is great to overcome the Vulcanian decks. We can one-shot everything because we're water type. So yeah, something to test out. Uh, I hope you guys uh, yeah, are enjoying yourself with Vespiquin. Definitely test it out and let me know what version of the deck you are playing. So uh, that's it for another episode, you guys. Uh, also, you should know that uh, yeah, we're going to Poke News at the moment. So uh, yeah, uh, prepare yourself because there's not a lot of news. We have a bunch of scans here. We have Mallow, which is a trainer. It's a supporter and it actually states choose two cards from your deck and shuffle the rest of uh, yeah shuffle the rest of your deck again and then put those two cards uh, on the top of your deck in any order so how is this great you ask well uh, you don't get the cards immediately you can get out shaman and draw the cards you can uh, use acrobike and get the cards so you can even use a strategy like uh, maybe in a Laurentis deck uh, you, you can sh uh, check out something maybe get the forest of giant plants on the top of your deck and then uh, yeah other than that uh, the second card should be a grass energy then you use the acrobike and and uh, that way you can get the, the Forest of Giant Plants, which you so much need. And then uh, you discard the Grass Energy with that. So uh, Mallow, a great uh, yeah, trainer's card that could help in a certain type of deck. So it's definitely something to test out because everyone is running draw support. There's Oranguru, there's uh, Octillery, there's Shaman, there's Ultra Ball uh, to uh, get the Shaman, of course. There's Acro Bike, uh, there's even Professor QQ, which you can use. But uh, then again, you already use the supporter. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on with Mallow. It actually makes it so if your opponent uses M this next turn, it's disrupted. But yeah, if you can draw the cards you just put on the top of your deck, it's a really great card. So that will be coming out soon on the 5th of May and our set, the Guardians Rising. If you want to know more about the Guardians Rising set, I made a couple of videos about the card scan, so definitely check them out. There's also Tepe Lele and the other tapers that you have to definitely want to check out because they're going to be overpowered and really great. So uh, another card we should check out in Poke News, we have the Wish Cash, which has the attack Water Pulse. It is a fighting Pokemon, so uh, it just uh, 60 damage and uh, the active Pokemon is now asleep. No, not you, the opponent's active Pokemon. And then it has Land Landslide, 100 damage, uh, discard the 3 top cards of your deck and this attack deals uh, 100 damage times the number of energies you discard. So uh, yeah, you see a bunch of shenanigans here, so the uh, supporter Mallow can actually work with the Wish Cash because uh, yeah, you can use that uh, card and uh, lay 2 energies uh, on the top of your deck and then dealing three, uh, yeah, 200 damage. So this is awesome, uh, something going on here, Mallow to get together with Wish Cash. There will be a bunch of new uh, strategies and uh, combinations like that and you'll see it first on this channel. So uh, make sure you are subscribed and this is another episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did definitely show some support, putting your thoughts, uh, epic ideas and suggestions in the comment section and giving a rock smash to the like button is always appreciated and uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys soon with more videos on a daily basis about the Pokemon trading card game. Anyway, have a nice day, have an awesome day, enjoy yourself and uh, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace out.